All right, hello. Welcome to James Nash Rugby. This is Fanboy here with one of our under-14 players from the Nash Gold Team, Kimber. How are you doing today, Kimber? Good. Good. Excellent. Great start. Uh, it is Wednesday afternoon. It's the girls' first home games of the season. And this is coming off the back of games on Monday afternoon as well, I believe, against Coulomb and Chancellor. Yeah. <laughs> How did you go on Monday? I didn't play, but we did well. Did well as a team, so you're nice and fresh for today's game. You've already had your first game against the other James Nash team. Yeah. How do you feel you went? Good, we won. What about yourself individually? How do you think you played? Um, pretty best game so far. Best game so far. And that's a note that I've seen over the last couple of weeks. The under-14 teams, both teams are improving quite a lot. One thing I noticed from the gold team in particular is in your defence. You guys are staying up at the last feet of the ruck, something that your coach yells out quite a lot. Um, yeah. Do you feel as though that's been a focus in training? Yeah, well, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I don't really know. Can, can we get that, cut that out? Yeah, I can cut that out. Wait. No. <laughs> um, coming up today, your second game's against St Pat's. So, first game against a Gympie school rival. What's it going to mean to beat Pats? Pretty good. There's some friends. I have some friends on there, so... You have friends? <laughs> We're going to cut that other bit out. <laughs> but the, the first question I should have said, do you know some girls in the other team? And now that you've said you do, is it going to mean even more to smash them? Yeah, it's going to be fun. Just... Yeah. As you can see, our girls rugby athletes are incredibly tough and mean, and um, they, just, they just let it all out on the field. Thank you, Kimber, for that interview. Good luck in the second game. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fanboy here. We're at Jack Stokes for the first home game of the season for our girls rugby teams. I'm here with Crystal, one of our under-16 players. How are we feeling? Good. Hot. Hot? Why the excitement? Just rugby or is there something else on the line today? Oh, it's my second game, so... Oh, second game? So it's just nerves? Yeah, nervous. Anxiety, excitement, but it's also a big afternoon because it's Gimpy rivalry round. So Crystal's got two games coming up, one against St Pat's and one against Victory. Do we know girls from either of those schools? I used to go to Pat's, so yeah. Oh, there's, there's a lot more on the line now. Um, I'm trying my old school. So what's it going to feel like to smash them? Just, oh, I don't just, know. Oh, so good. Too good for words. Yeah. You said it's what, your second game? Yeah. Okay. Um, enjoying rugby so far? Yeah, it's been really good. I enjoy it. What's your favourite part about it? Uh, thinking that <laughs> I'm fit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's all the cred, the credibility. Yeah. Um, what about the contact? What? <laughs> like the contact going into tackles, do you like the uh, the impact and the hits or are you someone who prefers to score the tries? Um, I'm scared I'm going to hurt someone, <laughs> so I don't want to like accidentally hurt someone. That's, But yeah, I do want to smash someone. <laughs> See, like I said in the last interview, our rugby girls are just ferocious. Good luck, Crystal. <laughs> you too. <laughs> you too. No, you too. Thank you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> so, welcome back to the bench press with the legend. Today I'm with Katana, Carly and Amelia before our big mats, matches tonight against Victory and Pats. Amelia, you've played for many years along with myself and Carly. Going into these games, how do you feel? Well, I feel pretty confident. We've had a little bit of experience together and like played as a side together. So to verse teams that we've played before and have like a little bit of a level up to, um, I think it'll be a good experience for us all to just smash it out. And overall, and our season hasn't been that bad. We yeah, have done we've pretty well this season. Very well. Yeah. Uh, Carly, how are you feeling? Um, kind of confident. I haven't really versed like I have, but I this is my first year in opens, so I haven't really versed Pats like you have, and the aggression you, you the, those two teams hold together. <laughs> I'm stuttering. Um, okay, thanks for that. Um, now, Antana. You, this is your first year playing Union because, you know, it wasn't up to your standards or whatever you want to say. Hey, so, look, I was playing league at the same time. Right? Okay, anyways, that's not my question. 
Um, so, how are you feeling? Obviously, hearing all the stuff about Pats and victory and stuff, like, how do you feel going into these games? Hearing that they're um, quite a, a good side uh, kind of scares me a little, but to be honest, I'm a bit confident. They're lower than us. Um, we do have a good side ourselves. So I reckon we'll smash it. Um, would anyone like to ask me how I'm feeling? How are you feeling versing victory and Pats tonight, Kiani? I'm feeling really good, you know, like I think overall it'll be a really good game and we've had a very good season, we're a very good side, not to sound overconfident, but... Is it because of the ribbons? And we have ribbons. <laughs> So, I didn't put them in yet. well, us four have ribbons, us three have ribbons, and that's our lucky charm for this game. And it's a home game. Yeah. Now, Hoy's looking a little bit sad behind the camera and a little bit disappointed, so we're going to end it here. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bench Press. Legend here with Mr. Sadi, the Open <laughs> Girls coach. So, this is your first time coaching Open Girls, I believe, and I don't think we've had a bad season, but what's your opinion on it so far? It's been a very good season. Uh, we've won a game every week, I think, which is um, what you want to aim for. And um, we've uh, been in control for most of our games and, yeah, been very impressed with the girls. Yeah, and so this week is our rivalry round against Pats and Victory. How are you feeling for us going into these games tonight? Um, I feel good. I, I don't know much about the teams that we're playing against because I didn't see them last year. I coached the juniors, but... Um, I think if we play the way we have been playing, we'll, we shouldn't have any trouble with them, to be honest. I think we're the better of the three teams. So. That's a very powerful comment, that. Um, so, we versed Victory first. And I, from past memory, I don't think I've ever versed Victory ever in my years of playing. So, I don't know how that will go. But, obviously, Pats is a very competitive team. And, obviously, it's all put on the field for that game, as it is every time. But... Do you reckon you'll be do the Open Girls again next year after we've all left? I hope to, yeah, because there's some grade 11 still in the team, so hopefully I'll take them through to grade 12 as well. Um, and it's just a it's a much more rewarding um, experience with the Open Girls than um, other grades because you, you I don't know, you, you just have a more sort of respectful relationship and all that sort of stuff. So And we're hope. better than the boys. Uh, much more rewarding uh, than coaching the boys sometimes, definitely, um, for many reasons. But, no, it's been a really great experience and hopefully I can coach the team again next year. Well, thank you, and that's all for this one. Cool. All right, fanboy here for Bench Press. I'm here and joined by Shayla Ayres, one of our under-14 players, who not only played two games tonight, uh, but has also played one more already for the under-16s. How's the night been so far? Pretty, pretty good, yeah. Pretty good. Um, you're in the gold team for the under-14s. Yeah. You guys are still undefeated for the yeah. season, I think. That's yeah. got to feel pretty good. Yeah. Can you give us a bit more than that? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all right. So who, who you guys took on Pats and Victory oh, today in the 14? Pats no. and the other Nash team. Pats and the, under, and the other Nash team. What's it like um, getting one over Pats, local rivals? Pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. And I was watching you just then in the first under-16s game. Um, you like to get in and around the ruck a fair bit. Yeah. You, you, do you prefer a bit more of the tackling and the contact rather than the yeah. scoring try? I'm not a runner. So if you're not a runner, you're a hitter? Yeah. Yeah? And you played rugby last year for the school, and you were mentioning before you're playing for the Hammers now. Yeah. Is this your first year playing for Hammers? Yeah. What made you make the decision to try that? Um, school was pretty fun and, you know, like, it's just funner. You get more rugby and you become better for the next school season. That's uh, really mature advice. And the fact that the first thing you said it was fun, enjoyable. Um, you still got one more game? Yeah. You tired at all? Kind of, yeah, but I don't mind. More playing time, funner, better. Get through it. And... If you haven't watched one of the other videos as well, girls played on Monday night as well, some catch-up games. Did you play in both of those as yeah. well? Yeah. Um, we versed Chancellor and Coolum High and took them both out, something nil. I don't know the score. Took them out. I love that. The first um, real, let's say, attitude and determination we've seen on the interviews today because um, I'm going to say all of our girls are awesome kids. They're really nice and sometimes the hardest thing is having a bit of a mean streak on the field. Um, is there someone you'd be able to point to within your team or the 16s who really um, 
really has a different attitude when they're out on the field. Like a good attitude or a bad attitude? Oh, no, like a, um, not good or bad, maybe more of a aggression and they just turn into like a, I know, an animal out there. And then you see them off the field and they're like the nicest person in the world. Probably Georgia Walters. That is a good answer. If you haven't seen Georgia Walters play, um, get out here and do it. So, semi-finals next week. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you can't put us off. <laughs>